Three cheers from MPs as Parliament is officially dissolved by the Prime Minister, kicking off campaigning for the October 22nd election. A move announced on Monday by Shinzo Abe as he sees the chance to benefit from a weak opposition and a boost in the polls. But in the days since, an unexpected challenge has emerged in the form of Tokyo Governor Yuriko Koiki and her brand new Party of Hope, officially launched on Wednesday. A party positioning itself as a fresh new option for disillusioned voters. I launched this party of hope in the sole interest of resetting Japan, seeking politics without vested interests, seeking new politics to conduct drastic reforms. Koiki is a former MP and defense minister from Abby's LDP party. She's also worked in media and has come up with a slick PR savvy campaign. But this time, Koiki's not the one running for office. She's choosing to lead the party, but remain in her position as Tokyo governor. Her party's policies are pro-reform and conservative, and mainly similar to the ruling LDP. However, Koiki set her party apart on two key issues. A promise to freeze a planned hike to national sales tax, and a call to abandon nuclear power two topics likely to appeal to Abby's voter base. The days old parties already attracting defecting MPs from both the ruling and the already flailing opposition party. Recent media polls give Koiki's party 13 to 18 percent of the vote and the ruling LDP 29 to 31 percent. So no defeat expected for Abe, but if his party does win, success for the party of hope would likely eat into his party's majority, weakening the prime minister's mandate and diluting his power in parliament.